Lesson two is fractions and regions, and this is where we're going to start developing that number concept a little bit more. Uh, just a few quick vocabulary things before we start. A fraction can be used to name part of the whole. A unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of one. The denominator is the total number of equal parts in a whole, and the numerator shows how many equal parts are described. So that numerator is the top number you can see. It's the number of parts shaded. So you can see there's only one shaded here. And the denominator is the bottom number, and that's the number of equal parts. And you can see there's one, two, three, four parts total here, so you can see that four on the bottom. One fourth of that rectangle is shaded. It gives us another example problem here where each part of this circle, the unit fraction, is one third, one, two, three total, and there are two parts shaded, one, two, you can see the two shaded here which means I have a 2 on top as the numerator, a 3 on bottom as the denominator, 2 thirds of that whole circle is shaded. Let's do a couple of our own down here. We have number 1, it says write the unit fraction that represents each part of the whole, then write the number of shaded parts and the fraction of the whole that is shaded. Okay. So the first step we need to do is figure out how many total I have, which is 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, so I know that that's going to be my bottom number, my denominator. And my smallest unit fraction is always going to be a one on top. So I know one of these pieces, just one of these, is one eighth. But the question is, how many are shaded? And I can go back and count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means seven are shaded out of my eight so seven eighths of this rectangle is shaded. Let's move on over here. I have one, two, three, four equal parts in this circle. So I know that four is my denominator. And the unit fraction would be one, always, one fourth. So that means that one of these pieces is equal to one fourth of my circle. But the question is how many Cir uh, parts of the circle are shaded and I have one, two, three, four. All four, so four out of the four pieces are shaded and we'll learn that that is equal to one. Number three, how many equal parts do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So my unit fraction is one sixth. One of these pieces is one sixth and the question how many are shaded? I have one, two, three, four are shaded out of six. When you see this fraction line, it's really easy to say out of, and it makes a little bit more sense. So four out of six are shaded, four sixths. Last one, I have one, two, three equal parts. So my unit fraction is going to be one third. One of these pieces is one third of my rectangle. And how many are shaded? Oh, same answer as my unit fraction. One out of my three are shaded. One third of this rectangle is shaded. Now this says draw a rectangle that shows two equal parts, shade one half of the rectangle. I've gone ahead and I've already drawn that rectangle with two equal parts, one, two, and I need to shade one of those two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and just shade that in real quick. Notice that I have one part out of two that's shaded, so one half of this rectangle is shaded. Number six, it says draw a circle that shows four equal parts, one, two, three, four, and then shade three-fourths of that circle, so three out of the four. There's one out of the four, two out of the four, and three out of the four. That's three-fourths of that circle. 